Hey guys, welcome to a different kind of jazz tutorials. Today, I'm going to be showing you a really awesome editing app I found on the App Store. And it's kind of like Photoshop, but not quite, and it's not a dope product. So, yeah. But it's called PixArt. Um, it's a really awesome app. You can do so many cool things with it. Um, if you're an artsy person and can draw, they have a drawing section in the app. I don't really draw much. I'm not really good at drawing on the app kind of stuff. But um, if you are, cool. There's an, a part for that. Um, there's also a collage section in the app where you can make collages of stuff. I'll explain that momentarily. And my favorite portion is the editing part where you can edit photos, take pictures and stuff. Um, so let me briefly show you how to make something in here. Um, I'll go to my camera roll. Um, I'll use this photo here. Now, keep in mind, though, when you're editing, if you want to add, like, different, like, textures and things onto it, like you would in Photoshop, you're going to have to save those to your camera roll. So go on to google.com and type in random textures you want to, look like, like a blue texture, pink, red, whatever kind of texture you want. And if you save your texture to your camera roll, we can utilize that in this app, which is really cool. So I've taken this photo here. Now they have a cool thing on the bottom here, um, various effects and st stuff you can do. You can add text, you can add a lens flare if you want. Um, lens flare has a bunch of cool options. Look at all these options you have for lens flares. Pretty fucking sweet if you ask me. But one thing I want to um, make you aware of though, um, not so much in the editing portion of this app, but if you're in the background or collage app portion, um, it'll have a check mark up here. If you push the check mark, it's gonna make everything you've done variously so far into one layer, and there's no undo. So you gotta be careful. But I'll explain to you about that momentarily when we get into that section of the app. So on the editing portion, you can have effects. Um, they have a whole bunch of stuff. Like it varies from black and white all the way to like vintage and really cool stuff. Um, my favorite and the thing about this too is you can fade the effects out so that's pretty cool and if you want to get rid of an effect uh, if you don't want to use the, the this portion of the effects if you hit the plus button it'll give you different ones so you can go to artistic pop art is my favorite though because look at this one here at the end go here and that's about as you can make it smaller but you can't go any bigger hit the check mark and whoa super cool and another awesome thing about this though is hit the check mark to get out of that screen. So now you've made that your lovely effect, right? Go back into the effects button. And if we go over here to our regular FX section, you can enhance the effect you've already made with the pop art. Oh my God, so fucking cool. I just love this. All right, so we're doing that one there. And then let's go over here to our, um, where is it? Frames. Now, the thing about frames I love is there's various ones. Now, some of the frames you have to pay for, obviously, but they give you a crap ton to start with, so you really don't even need to pay for any. Um, oh, no. The ones I have downloaded aren't in here. Uh, hmm. All right, well, anyway, if I were to add this here on top of it, look how cool it looks. Oh, my God, so nifty. You know I'm going to download those frames I wanted to use because those are really cool frames. So let's go over here. Oh, they are downloaded. Okay, weird. Anyway, if you ch I love this one here. This is, like, a really cool, like, oh, my God, how cool is that? It looks like, and you can resize it, too. So now it looks like a photo frame. And check mark that. And then, oh, oh, wait a minute, guys. We're going to add one more effect to this and make it really cool and stand out. Go to paper. Oops, nope, I want paper. Paper. Which one is that? Oh, yeah, it is this one. Okay, so if you go to this one here, you can change the color, too. Jesus guys look at how awesome that looks I love it oh my god I love it so much 
All right, well, that's the editing portion of the app. Let's go and talk about the actual collage portion of the app. So we'll get out of that, go back to the edit section, and we're going to go collage. Now, I like to use the background one because you can actually add a whole crap of stuff on top of it. Now, these are all the standard ones that it comes with. Um, you can pick whatever one you want. And you can actually make your own background by using a texture or a downloaded photo. Um, so we're going to photos here. And I'm going to go over here to camera roll. We'll stick with the same photo that I've had. So we're going to go with this one here. Done. And if you use your hands, you can resize it. And over here, that's the tool to do that. Now, this is what I'm going to explain to you. See over here how there's a check mark? If I were to push the check mark, that would then take that photo and put it directly on the background. And you will no longer be able to edit that photo in any way, shape, or form. The only thing you can edit is the background and the photo together. So make sure when you're not, if you want to add more stuff on top of the photo, do not do the check mark. All you have to do is tap outside of it and it gets rid of that. So you can keep editing the photo. But whatever you do, do not do the check mark until you're completely satisfied with your photo. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's go over here to um, this button here. This will let you add more photos. So let's go to photos. I'm gonna add a texture on top of that. Camera roll. Um, let's go with that. And maybe that one. All right, I like those two. All right, I'm gonna move that one off the side for a bit and we're gonna work with this one here. And if you tap the previous photo that you have, it'll then make the other photo on top of it go in the back. Look at that. Boom. And the cool thing also about this is look at this. You can change your blend mode. Oh my God, look at that. They don't give you that many, but they give you some pretty awesome blend modes. Screen and overlay. Oh my Jesus. Screen that little piece. In. Oh my God. I love it. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. Now let's go over here. Take this one. Set this one to screen as well. Oops, that's a multiply. Oh my god, so much awesomeness. Oh my god, that's so much beautiful. And you can alter the opacity on that. And voila, you have a cool photo. So now when you're done, hit the check mark. All right. And then I'm going to go over here to my tool selector, which is over here in the corner. And I'm going to select the crop tool. And I'm going to crop out the part of the photo that I want to use. Check mark. Oh, look at that beautifulness. So beauteous. And you can even add a frame on top of that. Oh my god, let's add a frame. Let's pick a frame. I love retro. Retro just screams we need this. So let's go with this one here. Oh my god, how beautiful is that? And then you can even add text on top of that. How awesome is that, guys? So that's the app. It's really cool. There's a lot more stuff you can do with it, but that's just the beginning of the app. Um, so download the app if you want to have cool, awesome, on-the-go um, effects. If you're in like a car on a long ride somewhere and you want to add some photos, there's an app for that. If you want to make cool Tumblr um, graphics, you got an app for that. So yeah, Photoshop is now mobile in a different um, company. So yep, I hope you enjoyed this um, video. It's different. We don't usually do videos like this on my channel. Usually I'm in Photoshop doing stuff with you guys, but I thought this was a perfect idea and I thought you'd appreciate this, you know, me reviewing an awesome app. So if you guys like me reviewing awesome editing apps and things like this, I will do more in the future. If you don't, then I won't. And one more thing about the app I thought I should share with you guys. When you're in making your edit and you accidentally hit the X or the back button while you're editing, it's going to delete everything and you'll have to start all the way over from scratch. So make sure that when you're editing you don't touch the X in the left corner or the back button in any... Well, I mean the back button in the effects and all that stuff is fine, but when you're in the actual thing... Like, let me just show you briefly before I go. Um, hold on. 
Let's go in a collage. So if you go to the background, just select a random background. All right, so say you're editing this whole thing and you're like, oh, you know, and you accidentally hit this X over here in the corner. It'll get rid of that. But if you hit the X in this corner, oh shit, oh no, where'd it go? Yeah, um, it kind of deleted the whole entire thing and you gotta start from scratch. So that's one of the disadvantages of this app is that when you accidentally hit the X, it, it deletes everything. Um, there is a way I think you can save your stuff if you have an account with them, but I don't really need an account because I don't really use it for that reason. I just use it, save it, and post it on other random sites. So, I just thought I would let you guys know that you gotta be careful about that because I've made one too many mistakes with this app and it's really annoying. I just thought I would share this cool app with you guys and, um, alright. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.